Lecture 2 Getting the Data In this lecture we will learn how to upload the data in Excel. The real data, although it might, se it might seem a trivial step, uploading the data from an outside source into Excel environment does not come without some obstacles. To start with, the majority of data files one encounters in the public domain are not in Excel form, but rather in something called plain text form. This is the most general uh, file format and it will con it will take less memory wh while uploading into the computer uploading to any software platforms that deals with data and it's the most widely used form of uh, for data f data these files are recognizable by their extension .txt and the easiest way to open them is to use plain text environments such as notepad or wordpad the software packages included on any Windows environment under accessories, plain text is the most common form because it is accessible to all other statistics platforms such as Minitab, S Plus and R and there are various other um, statistical softwares also. Before doing this task one, let us open Excel, select start and find Microsoft Excel. This is the one, click there, there you go, click on bank, blank workbook and now let's go for task one right click on height and weight height weight data this is the data file and then on save link is save the data as txt file in at any location on your computer so hover on top of this height underscore weight file and right click then click on save link as then you can see that height weight file uh, is about to be downloaded as text document okay and click on save let us upload the data into Excel so for that okay I would just leave you all uh, to read this yourself okay I'll just give you the idea how to go for that okay now go to Excel click on file click on open browse and then click on downloads file right download uh, since downloads was the folder where we downloaded that height weight file okay height underscore weight file but you can't see that here why since we need to change this option okay look here just before open there is an option all excel files now change that into text files okay please click on this uh, drop down menu and you will see a lot of options in in those options go for text files okay then you can see height and weight data text file I hope you understood this and select that and then click on open now here we need to choose among delimited and fixed width so once you get this kind of dialog box you are supposed to choose either delimited or fixed width don't go for fixed width you always go for delimited no matter what choose delimited click on next click on tab now here there are delimiters and the delimiters might be tab semicolon comma space and other things and to choose which delimiters would be uh, would be suitable for us you need to see the data preview now you can see height is 61 68 56 69 weight is 175, 167, 141 and so on so this looks perfectly fine okay so tab is good so here just click tab and click on next and finish it then our data will be populated in this way so that's the task number one alright now comments the scenario described in task one above represents uh, 80 to 90 percent of situation the only trick has to do with part B and step 2 so that is for delimited and click on delimiter tab and click on next and next and you're you're done quite often one forgets to select the type of data which results with a very unpleasant where on earth did my data disappear they are there all right it's just that Excel package does not see them unless one specified the right data type 
okay next we will deal with some of the issues that correspond to the remaining 10 to 20 percent of cases that is when the steps using task one do not work since you have seen how uh, to upload the data in Excel now I would advise you to take note of each and every step so that it will be later on helpful for you okay task 2 uploading plain text with some formatting issues proceed in the same way as in task 1 steps a and b but use different data height underscore width underscore b hover on top of it and right click click on save link as and the file will be downloaded in downloads folder and height and width the type of the file is text document and click on save so that's it it's downloaded now then now again go to excel file excel and click on file click on open then browse now again choose text files if the text files are not showing in our choices okay text files Okay, everything is there now we need to choose height underscore weight underscore B that's the new file that we downloaded then click on open all right so delimited is what we choose click on delimited click on next and tab tab does a pretty good job but you can see there's a comma after each uh, height height of each individual okay so we need to get rid of that so click on comma and uncheck this tab since the data is um, separated by comma we choose comma not the tab just deselect this tab and next and finish it so you get uh, so we will be getting um, height and weight in this way now here height and weight is in the same column so just here in the formula bar select this one left click and drag it all all the way to the end of the word control C hold on control key and press C that's copy that's the command for copy and go to the column B cell 1 hold on control key and press V that's the paste option okay control C is for copy and control B is for paste thus we get this and you can just delete this weight the final result is not level property but with simple cut and paste operation you should be able to modify the data so it looks exactly as same as in figure 1.1 above just like this one okay now comments we just describe one of many troubling scenarios that might con that might come up sometimes data are separated by slash front slash excel might interpret this is a date some files typically from European sources write large numbers by using commas that is in, instead of 1 million they write 1000000 which can create some headaches we will not attempt to address all of these issues but rather warn the reader that they might come up as one becomes more proficient with the excel environment one develops numerous tricks of trade designed to deal with these issues next we will deal with another important topic large data files recent versions of excel can handle more than a million data points which comes very handy in today's world where one often encounters enormous data files modern data analysis greatly benefits from the abundance of data but large data files come with all sorts of problems. through this course we will often remark that uh, on these issues and inform the reader on a need to know basis one of these issues is splitting the screen trick okay now task 3 splitting the screen use the data from height weight gender save the data as txt file at any location on your computer next open the data into excel by following steps in tax 1 a b c above splitting the screen so hover on top of this height weight gender file right click save link as okay in the downloads folder we want to download that and as a text document okay click on save now let's go to Excel again and go for file click on open click on browse and go for downloads folder and underneath this uh, drop down menu you choose the text file if it is already done then 
good for you if not then try to choose the text file file type okay and we need to choose height weight gender for this exercise for this task and click on open then again the same thing click choose the delimited option next tab it's it looks very fine since you can see in the data preview height weight and gender is there and everything is uh, separated nicely okay so click on next and then finish it how many data points are there so to find the number of data points in this file simply press control and key then you will be taken to the last row of the data and if you go for if you hold on control key and press home it will take you the first row okay so that you can know how many data points are there okay since in this file if you go for control end then you'll be taken to hundred thousand one row that's the last row that means there are thousand one rows but since the first row is a header so there are thousand points of data to go to the top of the data press control home okay all right now splitting the screen to split the screen let's suppose we just choose a row okay a cell or a row i would prefer to choose cell a row let's go to 10 or 20 however you might how many rows you might to see in one split screen so i want to see 10 rows in my first split screen and uh, rest of them in another split screen so i choose 10th row and go to view and go to split and click on split so that will give us two screens okay so now here you can see from row 1 up to row 9 that's the first split screen and from row to uh, row 10 up to rest of the rows it will give us uh, another screen and there's the scroll, scroll bar for both screen okay and this way uh, it is very easy to handle large number of data so now if you go to control end then you can see that these two are the split screens and you can work on in this way okay. so that's the use of split screen software update older versions of excel perform this operation slightly differently the reader a reader is instructed to use the excel help menu that's fine uh, we uh, since uh, this lecture was written somewhere around 2015 so it works fine for us now that was a large text file that we uploaded just now let's go for task 4 where we upload very 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 large file okay use the us crime data file this file contains data related to us crime by state your task is to open the file create a new excel document containing only the data related to connecticut see the table below so we want to download the data at first download the file at first and upload it to excel and we need to create a new excel document containing the data only related to the state connecticut okay us crime let's download this hover on top of us crime right click save link as and click on save in downloads folder go to excel click on file open browse choose the downloads folder and choose the text files in the drop down menu and click on us crime and click on open all right so that's fine now as i told you earlier we always need to choose the delimited option okay so go to next once you have choose the, chosen the delimiters then you can see that our data is kind of messed up but you can see that uh, the header is state comma type of crime comma crime comma year and count so you can definitely see that this data file is the types of data is separated by commas so let us click on comma now you can see the data is has a nice preview okay state type of crime crime year count and so on so click on next and finish it so now 
this type of crime is some somehow hidden crime is also hidden now to to adjust the width of the column just hover on top of the column and you can see this kind of uh, dark arrow down arrow and left click and drag it all the way up to column E okay so let me do that again so hover on top of uh, the first column you can see the bold arrow down arrow left click and drag it all the way up to E column E then you choose any of the column any uh, border of the column once you can see this kind of double arrow with a vertical line in between it then double left click then you can see they are distributed evenly okay so how many data points are there again you can just press control end then it will give us this many rows okay there are 16,423 rows of data that's a very huge file okay now control home and you can see um, we have come to the top of the data now it says that your task is to open the file and create a new Excel document containing only the data related to Connecticut okay now here it says that the second trick is about splitting the screen in order to extract Connecticut data, one only needs to highlight the relevant portion and cut and paste it into new document. Splitting the screen helps a lot here. Okay, this is a very old trick, but let us go to more elegant and easy trick. Okay, so now here, let us go to this US crime. The new trick is slightly easier. Okay, click on home and go to short and filter click there and click on filter okay then after you have clicked filter then you can see there are drop down menus in each of the columns okay so first column is of state and it shows all the state second column is type of crime and it shows all the type of crimes third crimes fourth number of years okay and so on all right now we only need the data of Connecticut so click on the drop down menu of state and deselect all by clicking this select all then it's deselect every state okay let me show this again click on this drop down menu and deselect all of the states by selecting this select all menu then now find Connecticut so connected cut is somewhere here okay and click on OK so you can find all the data for Connecticut okay so that's all now what you need to do is now you need to copy this thing copy this data and paste it in another worksheet okay then what you do is you just select the columns okay hover on top of column a until you get this bold down arrow and click left key hold on that left key and drag it all the way up to column a then control c press control c and click on this plus option this will give us a new worksheet and control v Okay, control V is for paste so thus we get a new Excel file containing all the data from the original file into a new file okay task 5 uploading the data analysis package to do this okay I won't go through this um, but I will just instruct you how to do that so here go to Excel to upload data analysis package go to file and click on options some of you might see somewhere here click on options and after you see this dialog box click in add-ins then at the bottom of this dialog box you can see manage excel add-ins and click on go then you can see some choices analysis tool pack and blah 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 
so tick mark analysis tool pack and click on ok then you will be seeing data analysis under the data menu okay so that will help us to do some basic data analysis some basic and intermediate data analysis so that's how we do it go for random number generator right so here it says click on the tab level data go to data analysis if data analysis is missing you need to upload the data analysis tool pack we have already done that next follow the instruction on the chart on the right okay so go for data analysis so click on data and click on data analysis and find random number generator okay it should be somewhere down random number generation and click on ok so that's fine now number of variables is 1 number of random numbers is 62 number of variables is 1 random numbers is 62 the distribution is normal drop down key okay normal and mean is 3.3 mean standard deviation is 2.6 3.3 is the mean and 2.6 is the standard deviation then finally random seed leave that empty and we need to choose this new worksheet PLY so that's all set and click on OK then you will see our result resulting number uh, random numbers that we generated in a new worksheet so that's it since we choose one variable so that will give us one column and 62 data points so that's 62 data points and mean is 3.3 Me, uh, the standard deviation was 2.6 okay so this is how we uh, generate random numbers okay now sampling pro procedures there are various ways data are collected here we will focus on two most common non-random or census data type and random sampling data types of data collection. The census data are typically collected from a site without using any random mechanism of selection. There is no selection, you choose everything. Collect all the students enrolled at a, a university and analyze the data related to the class they have taken. So that's kind of uh, census data type. The sampling data would be different. Randomly pick a subset of the students from a university and then collect the relevant set of data. So that's the random sampling method. Okay, in addition this to these two, one often encounters stratified sampling. In other words, one splits the sample in subgroups and then picks randomly from each group, making sure that the percentages of picked subjects are consistent. Example, you are asked to sample 100 students from a school where 90% students are not athletes and 10% are. A random sample would ignore this fact and just randomly pick 100 students regardless if they were athletes or not stratified sampling would randomly pick 90 students from the group of non-athletes and then another random sample of 10 from the school athletes stratified sampling ensure that the portions are preserved however the theoretical analysis of such sample is more complicated okay now given the two data uploaded in the lecture height weight and gender data as well as u.s crime data answer the following questions which if any of the two data files was collected using the random sampling method that means you choose a subset of the entire population okay so here you can see that for us crime data every crime is recorded for every state okay there is all the state recorded okay now last time we went to date uh, we went to this sort and filter and try to s go for filter and saw all the states Okay, so that's why everything is collected from all the years 1960 up to 2005. So this is the census method. So we would go for this one to be uh, census method is US crime. Okay, right, which of any two data files are collected using the random sampling method? Then you can go for height and weight and gender then you can see what is the last column thousand people are taken in random and their height weight and gender are recorded so this is a sampling method that means you are choosing a subset
Okay, so that's all.